everybody. I have landed from a long haul this morning. I came back from Orlando and really I should be asleep because I have been up since 5 a.m. Um, US time. Well, in Orlando it's five hours behind at the moment to the UK. So I have been up since five o'clock yesterday morning. Um, I had a hour of sleep, um, rest on the plane, that was it. So I am, um, I think I've just had way too much coffee and I'm feeling quite alive and awake, but I really, really wanted to film a, like a relax with me after a long haul and sort of my routine and what I do for my skin and my hair, because it's so important when you're in an air conditioned environment for such a long time. Um, and also wearing makeup for such a long time, as well as the stress on your hair, etc., that you really do look after it. So I thought, what's the best time to film a relax with me, well, straight after a long haul when I'm so tired and delirious and this video probably will not make any sense whatsoever and I'll look back and I'll cringe and I'll just be like, what was I talking about? Because long haul after you land um yeah you're a little bit weird and scatty and strange but hey let's just do this and then i can go to sleep okay so the first thing that i do after i have driven home uh i live nearly two hours away two and a bit hours away from the airport so the drive home can be quite challenging sometimes However, I just make sure that I stay quite upbeat and also use the time wisely to call relatives or friends, catch up, um, because I find that uh, while they talk to you, then you can keep your mind going and it also helps the time go and you don't feel so tired. Um, so yeah, so the first thing I do is when I actually come inside into my house, I, um, I usually have a peppermint tea and then I will... Ugh, a little bit crazy but I'll uh, put my washing on so it's out of the way I'll unpack if I want to sometimes I just cannot be bothered but I'll always put my washing on I just find it just calms things down a little bit and also um, takes the pressure off it later on just makes me feel a little bit better and yeah the next thing that I do is obviously my skincare so first of all what I do is I take my simple cleansing face wipes and I just start to remove all of the makeup and grease and uh, disgusting rubbish all over my face from the night flight and I'll just use that over my face. sure that all of my eye makeup is off my mascara and the majority of product on my skin now that I've taken the majority of my makeup off including everything on my eye area I then take my hair out and my hair can be a little bit wild after a night flight as it just seems to go a little bit crazy while it's in a donut. So I take my hair out. And then after that, what I do is I have a shower and wash my hair. What I'm going to do is also wash my face in the shower using the Clean and Clear Morning Energy Skin Brightening Daily Face Scrub. I have been using this face scrub for a few years now and it is just absolutely brilliant. It really works well with my skin. Um, it's quite cheap. It's by Johnson & Johnson and I just find that they last me for ages and yeah, they work really well with my skin. So I will wash my face in the shower as well as my hair and once I get out of the shower, I will let you know all the products that I use and then I'll continue my routine. Hey! <laughs> so I have just come out of the shower and I have left my hair in a towel for a 
reason, well, the one reason is that I want to go through my hair product and routine in a second with you all. But first of all, I want to just go back to my skin. I said that when I was in the shower, I always use my Morning Energy Clean and Clear face scrub and that is while I'm in the shower so I just put a little bit into my hand and just put it all over my face and my neck and my ears etc. But I also do another skin routine which is using my Clinique Sonic system and fortunately I've squashed the bristles on it. I think this is in my suitcase and I think something whatever was on it has squished it a little bit. My bad. But anyway, so the Clinique Facial Sonic system is a little brush head which is detachable and it fits onto this here and basically what it does is it cleanses and it also exfoliates your skin for you and you'll be so amazed at how much product comes off of your skin when you think um, that you have taken it all off so if you use makeup wipes every single day and you think oh you know I take off a lot of my makeup and my skin feels amazing buy one of these um, because they are just incredible and they make your skin so smooth and also I find that it's even my skin tone quite a lot especially with flying I found that um, after a flight a long or short haul flight whichever one I'm doing um, my skin can become quite uneven and I can get quite a lot of blemishes so I find that this really gets into the pores and yeah basically gives my skin such a deep cleanse I began by using this every night and now I'm on it about three times a week depending on when I want it really as I've been so busy sometimes skincare doesn't lack but certain things that I do sort of lack but anyway, so um, for the purpose of this, obviously I wanted to do it in my bathroom, but the lighting wasn't great, so I thought I will do it here. I don't usually do it in my bedroom on a camera, so I brought a towel with me, and I will show you exactly what I do. So one thing to know about the Clinique Sonic system is it pulsates, and it pulsates for 30 seconds. What Clinique actually recommend is that you do 30 seconds on your cheek, uh, 30 seconds on the other cheek, 30 seconds on your forehead and what I tend to do is 15 seconds on my chin and 15 seconds on my lip or hardly anything on the top lip, it's very very sensitive um, and then 10 seconds on my nose. I sort of just go with it and see which one feels, you know, that needs the most attention. I don't put it anywhere near my eyes, anywhere this part of the face should be highly avoided. Um, and you can use any exfoliator or cleanser if you love Clinique and you want to use one of their cleansers and obviously the Clinique Sonic System and the Clinique cleanser goes better. No, it doesn't go better. It, you can use whatever you want on it. I just use my Morning Energy Skin Scrub once again and what I do is I just wet the tip of the, uh, the brush into some warm water and then I take some of my cleanser exfoliator, put a little blob onto, onto the brush and then I just turn it on and in small circular motions we'll start on the cheek and like I said it times out after 30 seconds. And then as soon as I finish one side of the cheek, I just leave it on there and then I go on to the other side. I also find that if you are using warm water with the cleanser, it can become quite foamy. So. Sometimes I don't apply any more product, I just simply um, wipe or wash off the excess what's in there and, um, and then go over again. Or in my case, because I've actually washed my face quite a few times with makeup wipes 
and also in the shower there doesn't seem to be so much product coming off so in that case I will just go over each part of the face once again. And then I'm going to do my chin and usually I do this for just 15 seconds and then I'll move on to a little bit on my top lip And then on my nose. So once I have finished, then I will get a clean flannel with some warm water at first and then take off the cream. Once I have taken all of the facial scrub off of my face, I splash it with really cold water and then pat it dry. The next thing that I do is apply a lip balm or lip butter to my lips and I use Nivea lip butter. I just really like it, I find it um, works well with my lips, you can use whichever one you like. Because lips get very dehydrated. Especially if you're wearing lipstick. And then for... Is that something in... Blah. Hair in my mouth. Blah. And then for my uh, face moisturiser, I use Emma Hardy Amazing Face AM PM Treatment Moisturiser. It looks like this. I dropped it on the floor the other day in Antigua and smashed the lid but hey, it was fine, thank God. So I apply this all over my face and I just find this moisturizer is one of my holy grail products. Um, Crew Swear by Clinique Moisture Surge, it's also amazing, but I find that this product is just incredible. I bought mine from Debenhams and I just recommend it to everybody. The smell's amazing, the moisture's amazing, and I find for crew, I recommend it to a lot of the girls and boys, make sure that they use it because it is just amazing and leaves my skin feeling perfect. I'm really, really hydrated, which is what we want to do because we're losing the hydration in the air and we want to make sure that we put it all back into the skin so your skin stays youthful and healthy and glowy and chewy and make sure you rub it into your neck as well people forget their necks and their necks are so important not only because they hold your head <laughs> but because you need to moisturize your neck too and that basically is my skincare. So next I do my hair. Now my hair is quite long and it can get very, very knotty. Also one thing that I am noticing more and more is because I spend a lot of time in hot countries that my scalp can become very, very dry due to the sun drying it out. So when I do my hair routine, I wash my hair twice a week. I get my hair cut probably 
once every six months. I know that is awful, yes, and it needs a massive cut because the ends are so dry. However, I'm getting married and I want it to be long and I'm gonna get it all cut off after the wedding. Not all of it off, obviously, but I'm gonna get it a nice, healthy cut after the wedding. So anyway, going back to my hair, um, after a long haul, I always wash my hair. I almost feel like I just want to get the scent, smell, fumes, I don't know what it is, I just want to get everything off of me, I just want to be clean after I've been on an aircraft. Um, an aircraft isn't the most cleanliness or hygienic places, uh, I think therefore you just want to feel fresh and clean and also if you're getting into bed and you're going to go to sleep after you have got home then I find there's nothing better than feeling fresh and clean and you can just, I don't know, I just find that you sleep better when you're when you're clean. So for my shampoo and conditioner I have been using Bedhead by TG for such a long time. Um, I find that it just is works really well with my, my hair and um, my hair can become very very knotty and I find that this helps tame it slightly. So yeah I'm using the Colour Goddess at the moment shampoo and conditioner it's um yeah it's good i really really like it actually and i just yeah i just love it so that is the shampoo and conditioner that i use it smells amazing and um i usually apply my shampoo and leave it like really really make a lather scrub it all over my hair and leave it for a couple of minutes wash it out then apply my conditioner um I'm quite generous with my conditioner and usually I always buy two conditioners and one shampoo purely the fact I have quite a lot of hair and I use a lot of conditioner so I apply the conditioner all over my hair from roots to bottom and I leave it probably for five minutes or so and I find that this is a good time for you to do your exfoliating on your, and your facial um, skin care or shave your legs or do whatever you want to do while while you um, wait for your conditioner to soak into your roots and leave it. So afterwards I always let it just relax in a towel. Um, I towel dry it. I never blow dry my hair. Um, I hardly ever use straighteners. I don't really tongue it. However, I keep watching YouTube videos of these amazing hairstyles and I'm like, oh, I've got to do it, I've got to do it. But I'm just far too lazy with my hair, unfortunately, and I don't really feel like I have the time. However, I really want to make more of an effort with it because when I do make an effort with it, I used to use wands and rollers, etc., all the time back in the day, but I find that it's just so much healthier now um, when I don't do anything with it. And also, another really bad thing, I don't brush it every single day. So, when I do brush it, I find that it, it I molt. I molt like a dog. So, yeah. So, I brush my hair as soon as it's um, towel dry. And I just brush it until every single knot is, has come out. Um, and usually, I do this in sections, just so it's easier. And... Um, you know, not so much hair in one section being tugged at.
So once I have brushed my hair and the brush is going through smoothly without any knots, sort of, <laughs> I use two products. Another holy grail product I've been using for years and years and years is Moroccan oil and another one that I mix with it is the Karate's L'Oreal Elixir Cool Time and I use these two together and I just find that they work really well with my hair, they smooth it out and yeah I just find it's brilliant for my hair. So I usually start off with my Moroccan oil and I do two squirts as it's oil remember. I rub it into my hands, I usually take off any rings or jewellery just so that it doesn't, as it is oily, um, I don't want it to be on my ring. What I start to do is I just start to put my hands through, my fingers through the ends of my hair and start to get the ends of my hair first and it is a oil based product so if you're prone to having greasy hair then I wouldn't put so much at the roots um, but I do focus a lot on the ends. And then I use my L'Oreal oil too and do two squirts of that, rub it in and then I just do the same. But I'll start working it to the top roots of the hair. Any product that's left on my hands after that, I then just work through the tops of the hair into the top roots. And then I finish off by using a little bit more Moroccan oil, just one squirt, and I just go over the whole thing. my brush I just brush through it finish off my post long haul routine um, before I go to sleep I just put my hair into a plait nothing fancy nothing difficult just a normal plait because I want to go to bed um, bear in mind if it's the middle of winter and your hair is still damp you might get a cold therefore um, let it dry a little bit longer or blow dry is absolutely up to you I just like I said don't really blow dry my hair um, so I plait it and just deal with the head cold if I get one <laughs> so that is my post long haul routine that I do I know it seems like it's gonna take forever but I find that it's really important to make sure that you look after your hair and your skin, not just your face even, make sure that you look after your whole body. I put moisturizer on everywhere after a shower, whenever I have a shower, and I know sometimes it can feel a pain to be like, oh, I've got to go through all of that so that, you know, I can have a clean face, but, you know, in the future you will be like, oh gosh, that's amazing and also if you have any problems with your skin as well especially if you fly then you should try a more thorough uh, routine to a skincare routine and see if an improvement is made um, the only real thing now that I'll do before I go to bed is either have a peppermint tea um, just to help out with bloating because you do bloat when you're on an aircraft and peppermint helps so much so I might have peppermint tea 
and um, I'll brush my teeth and then I will go to sleep and usually after a long haul I will sleep for well I I will sleep for three or four hours and then I'll drag myself up and when you wake up you will be like <laughs> I can't do this but um and feel just like you've been hit by a truck you you, you won't you won't get the feeling unless your crew or your you do shift work because it is shift work really um it is just the vilest feeling ever but um i'll do another video explaining how to deal with jet lag etc um but i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it wasn't too long and too boring for you all but it's something that's obviously very important to me and um, important for crew to maintain and yeah I hope you enjoyed it if you did then please give it a thumbs up uh, comment any questions to do with cabin crew flying interviews makeup routines hair routines teeth routines <laughs> the whole shebang and I will try my hardest to get back to you also any ideas on videos that you want me to do then just message me and comment below and I will do it for you uh, if you want to please subscribe to my channel as well and um, all of the products that I have used I will link below for you all but anyway I'm gonna have to go to sleep now because I'm just talking and talking and talking and I can feel my eyes getting heavier and heavier so I'm off to bed I hope you all have a fantastic weekend I will try and get up another video I've got a couple of cool ideas that I want to do especially for cabin crew so keep an eye out on my channel and I'll speak to you all soon bye